So another quick video showing a few ways you can go back to a previous build of Virtual DJ if you need to. So right now, if I open the settings, I can see I'm at 5478, which is currently the latest version. So if I want to go back, what do I do? Well, first I shut down Virtual DJ, and I go to the Virtual DJ homepage. And if I then look at the download page, I can see that the one I can currently get here is also 5478, which would make no sense to get because that's the one I already have. But then I can go into support and down to the knowledge database wiki page and down the button. I can get the download previous builds link, which will give me a list of a lot of builds I can select between. So I go for the second newest, which is this one, 5402. And I'm using a 32-bit version of, at the moment. So I'll download that one, wait for it, and it's downloaded, and I click Install. So what I try to do now is simply install on top. So I just do like the original install, I install on top of the current one. And then I could select Launch Virtual DJ. And what happens then? Nothing. So why not? Well, if I look into the Programs folder, this one, you see there's no Virtual DJ right now. So it's actually just removed it without adding the new one. So what can I do then? Well, I have a few options then in this situation. And in general, when when downgrading like this. So the simplest way now is just to go into downloads where it came down, run it again. And I figured out that there's already something there. So I'll tell it, well, then just repair it. Repair. And then I got my virtual DJ back. So if I look in folder again, now I have the virtual DJ folder again on the program files here, and I can run it. And now it's a 5402. So this is just a two-step thing for some strange reason, which I guess is a, a Windows issue, something with, with some locking mechanism. But that's one way to get around that. Another way is to uninstall the build first, so we have run this again. You need the same installer to uninstall as the one you currently uh, you have currently installed, but now it'll allow me to remove the current version. So that's another option to do that first, and then install the new one. I did that in another video, so I'll, I'll link that in the description. A third option is actually is actually to keep both. So if I go back into the virtual DJ folder, sorry, here, and then I could can rename this. I could put in the, the build number, but I plan to go back quite a bit right now. So I'll name this 2020, like that. Then I go back into the home page, and then I uh, check the change log. When was 2020 released? If I want a previous one before 2020. So the change log, scroll a bit, da -da, a few bills, blah, 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 blah. Well, back in September 2019, the, the 2020 was released. So if I want the latest 2018, it'll be the 5281. So going back to this page, is that available? This was right here. So I can download that. Again, a 32-bit version. Click install. And install just like I always would. And we'll wait a bit before launching it. Because if I then go back to this page, you can see now I have two exit files. So just to be able to tell them apart in the future, I'll leave this 2018. 
of course then the the links the shortcuts that are on the uh, the desktop or whatever won't work you have to change those too but that's okay we can just start them from here so if i start the 2021 it'll of course tell me there's a new one because i went back one build but i can see that it's built 5402 and if i shut that down and run the other one I get virtual DJ 2018, the last one. Of course, also tell me I can upgrade. And note that it actually shares the database file. And to some extent, it shares the settings. So some settings you can see which effect were chosen, all this kind of stuff. And this pad page is the same mod. So everything that it can do regarding settings, it will also do. And just to check it, yes, it says built 5281 in here and version 8.3, which means that it's 2018. So that was an option to have two versions installed at, at once. You can actually also have the 64-bit version installed at the same time. So I go back here, pick the latest one, for instance, and download the 64-bit version. And install that. Ignore that for a little while. Go back to where it's been placed. So if I look, look here, there's no new exe file. Why is that? Well, that's because that's the x86, so that's the 32-bit programs. But if I go into this one, and into Visual DJ, that's where my 64-bit is placed. So I can run that one, I'll also run right away. Also with shared database file and so on with the other stuff. And you can now see I'm running the 64-bit version. So now I have an, a 2018 32-bit version installed, a 2020 32-bit version installed, and a 2020 64-bit version installed and they can all share files and be installed at the same time. Of course, they can't run at the same time, but they can be installed at the same time, so you can switch between them. So that was a few ways to go back a build or switch builds and keep more at the same time. So that should fix a few problems for people.